Hey everybody, Steve Fuse and welcome back. We don't claim to know everything here, but we got 40 years experience in the business, so we've seen a lot of things. I want to share with you over the next couple of videos on what I believe is the number one ingredient that you must have to succeed in this business or any business really, and that is desire. Now before you go and turn off this video, hang with me for a second because I think this is a really critical point. I've seen hundreds of agents go through our agency over the years. Lack of desire was the number one reason that they were unwilling to push back against the winds of resistance that will blow against you in your business. Look, there's seasons in everything. There's seasons in life. There's seasons in friendship. There's seasons in business. We just went through a season with COVID. I do see this as the number one issue for agents that fail or struggle to really see success in this business. It's not in training. It's not in support. It's not in leads. All of that is important, but none of that will determine your success desire drives everything that you must have or do to succeed here. Desire provides that resilience against the obstacles of maybe picking up that phone, making the dials, going out to the client's house, you get a couple of cancellations, you get a couple of chargebacks, you just don't feel like it. The desire to achieve your why is going to dictate whether or not you're willing to make the sacrifices. I believe you must have intense personal desire, desire to achieve your why will determine your success in anything that you want to achieve. What you're trying to solve in your life that motivated you to step outside of your comfort zone and get into this business or even consider it. Honestly, without this, I believe you're going to struggle even to be an average agent with limited success. I'm revisiting a book I've owned for 25 years or maybe even longer. That book is called No Fear of Failure. Such a great book to read to center your compass for success in business. Tom Faccio talks about the process of creating or building No Fear of Failure. This stops so many agents' dreams before they even get started. Agents that go on to succeed and those that never get started or quit within weeks, some self-analysis is in store for you here. Do you have a large enough why? And I would challenge you to say that Making more money in my life, it's not a good why. You got to drill down. What will that why, what will that money bring you in happiness, lifestyle, freedom, independence, and liberty that would be worth you sacrificing for it? What is the most important thing you need to have before even starting to succeed in business? But as it pertains to becoming a successful life insurance agent, and what I mean successful, what success means to me is owning a skill set that enables you to own your income, meaning every day you wake up, you know with certainty that if you get some leads, book some appointments with those leads, run those appointments, you will protect some families and you will earn high to very high commissions and you'll get paid within a week, usually within a couple of days. I don't care where you live, what you live in, what your education is, what your skin color is, or your nationality. If you have this one thing, you have a shot to never worry about making a good income for the rest of your life. Because this one thing drives everything else. Tom Faccio talks about that. An intense personal desire is a quality which is absolutely essential to succeeding with any business and it is no different in the life insurance industry. And for most of you, that means selling mortgage detection or final expense solution. It gets you up in the morning. It makes buying leads, creating a weekly budget for those leads automatic without giving any thought to it because it removes doubt. It keeps you going through the tough times because even though I believe that selling life insurance and opening your own agency is by far the best business anybody can start, and I've checked them all, for very low investment, near zero ongoing costs other than ongoing licensing renewal fees, which is next to nothing, errors in emissions insurance, next to nothing, continuing education costs every two years or so, next to nothing. I'm talking about all-inclusive running $100 to $200 a year, depending on how many states you are running your business in. Again, that's the powerful thing about this. There's an old saying, the sun's shining somewhere, right? So if you're working in Florida, it's sunshine in Hawaii. Get you some leads out there. Desire drives you to keep moving toward your reason for wanting to be in this business or what we call your why. Listen, if being successful in business was easy, everybody would be successful. And you and I know that's not true. Sadly, as it is, it's just simply not true. And we also know that most people are not.
Why? Because the I quit factor is very, very low, meaning your desire is not big enough. The first time some obstacles come along your way, the first chargeback, the first no-show or cancellation that you get, man, you're out of here. You're on to the Uber job or, or, or Instacart or what have you. <laughs> but remember, there's no passive income or residual of those jobs. The old saying that if your why does not make you cry, you need to really evaluate whether or not you even start the endeavor to begin with. Because again, you lack desire. When adversity, tough times, winds blow against you, and be clear, they will, you'll be out of business and back to working for someone else that had a big enough desire to push through those obstacles and succeed in business. Look, if you're not willing to work your own dream, somebody's going to hire you to help you build theirs. I know all types of people will watch this video, but to be clear, I'm really talking to a certain kind of people. Those who want very much to risk going after his or her dreams, but has always been afraid to. I'm talking to you who would love to enjoy the thrill of the struggle to achieve, who would love to put themselves in the ring to have a shot at success, who have an intense desire and drive to become more than you are. I believe that men and women with this kind of intense desire are the ones that get things done. Tom goes on to say, when an idea captures their imaginations, they move themselves. They move themselves and their ventures through the inevitable setbacks to the completion of their dreams and goals. So take some time. Talk to your spouse. Take a deep dive into why you want to be in business for yourself as a life insurance agent. Drill down on your why. See if your why is big enough and if you really have an intense personal desire to be in business for yourself. Remember, we are 98% virtual, work from home agents, meaning those four walls of your office, if you're working virtually, will start to close in, okay? When the struggles appear, you got nobody else. You don't have coworkers around you to encourage you. You got to have a coach or a mentor that will pick you up when you're down. So having an intense desire is the number one thing you must have. Except that coach or that, or that mentor better be leading from the front, putting their names on applications and submitting them to the carriers. Otherwise, they're just a cheerleader. Thanks for watching. Reach out, make comments, private message me on my cell or email if you have that desire and want a real coach that has 40 years experience in this industry and a complete pathway to success, step-by-step, paint-by-the-numbers success system to help you succeed in this business. I'm happy to talk to you about it anytime. If you got something in this video, please do me a favor. We're on a 24-day run here to really reach out and help more people get in this industry. So please like and subscribe, but more importantly, share this video with somebody else that may get value from this video. I'm grateful that you're here. I'm happy to, to share this information with you, and I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me today. And I'll see you on the next video in our 24-day series. That's why we love athletes. Kids love athletes because they follow their dreams. Well, I can't dunk. No, but you can cook. What are you talking about? Your resume says that you minored in French culinary arts. Most students there were going to fry her at KFC, but you bust tables at the old Picador to support yourself. And then you get out of college, and you come and you work here. How much did they first pay you to give up on your dreams? 27 grand a year. And when were you going to stop and come back and do what makes you happy? Hi, my name is Steve, and this is Angela. And we're making a living 100% virtually, anytime, anywhere. While making a difference. Living the dream. While we travel the country. And we can help you do the same. Come along with us. We're grateful you're here. Subscribe to the channel and like the videos. Bye. Goodbye.